Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Stay tuned until the end for a special offer. Hello dear friends and thank you so much for tuning in to today's oil painting time lapse which is a special one for me because it is my very first master copy. I'll be doing a study of this painting by the legendary William Bouguereau, one of my favorite oil painters of all time, and attempting to learn his technique. Over the years I've experimented with many different painting processes and ultimately found a few through trial and error that worked pretty well for me, but I've never actually studied how they did things back in the old days, the classical approach. I think there was always this grain of doubt in my mind that I wasn't quite sure if I was doing things correctly. I know that of course we are all unique individuals and there are probably infinite number of ways to start and complete an oil painting and there's probably no right answer here, but I've always been curious to find out just how those amazing, mind-blowingly talented artists that you see hanging up in museums, um, what their process was and what I can learn if I try to mimic their process. I got the idea and inspiration to do this study from the painting students in the atelier I'm attending. Part of the curriculum is for the students to do copies and studies of these legendary iconic masterpieces and uh, try to mimic the classical realism approach so that we can pick up these techniques and apply them to our modern personal projects. And I myself have always been completely blown away every time I visit a museum. There's just a certain quality about paintings, especially realistic paintings done in the 1800s or 1700s, that you don't see a lot in modern day. And so it really piqued my interest and I was curious to see uh, if I did my research and was somewhat prepared and if I followed the process as diligently as I could. Um, would I be able to paint something even slightly resembling what I see in the museums? And this entire experience was so enlightening and so profound in many ways, and I'm so glad that I took the time to do this study. By the way, if you want to see a 60-minute version of this video in which I'll walk you through step-by-step step how I created this, how I mixed the colors, um, full hour of voiceover and instructions, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. As much as I always enjoy going to museums, staring at these paintings for hours, or reading art books and losing myself and just observing and consuming art 24-7 sometimes, um, I never saw these classical paintings in such a detailed, nuanced light as I did when I actually sat down to try to do a study of it. It's almost like in an attempt to recreate Bouguereau's work, I was in some way transported back in time and I was able to see not just the finished piece, but also look at the work from beginning to end and try to get a feel of what he was going through, um, the small little details he was able to observe and capture so elegantly, and all of the effort and pain and passion that was required to create his piece and create that beautiful end result. 
being able to do a master's study really helps me gain a newfound appreciation for the craft and for this specific style of painting that I never really had before. At times while working on this piece, I even got a little bit emotional just thinking about how as artists, we really do leave a little bit of ourselves behind in our legacy. Even after we pass away, there's a possibility that in the future, there's some young artists out there who is still trying to learn from us, even when we're not around to teach them ourselves. And it just made me feel a new sense of respect for all these great artists who came before us and laid down the foundation and continue to inspire us long after they're gone. And what an incredible honor it is for us, people of today, to continue in their footsteps, to perpetuate this legacy, to hopefully inspire future generations to do the same thing. And I feel like collectively as artists, in this way we share kind of one soul. We all live on through our paintings. We all leave behind this love of art that hopefully will never die. We are just about ready to wrap up this video. As much as I wanted to finish the entire thing and have it ready for you all today, I'm once again very bad at time management and overestimating my own abilities. So uh, I was only able to squeeze in enough time to finish the skin tone portion of this portrait, but rest assured, I am definitely going to finish the hair and her dress sometime uh, this month. So be on the lookout for part two of this video coming up soon. But Regardless, thank you all for watching and listening to me ramble on. I hope this video was enjoyable to watch and inspirational in some way. And as usual, I still have my 20% off holiday sale going on, likely forever. So if you want 20% off your order of prints or originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. I wanted to quickly thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for supporting my channel and the art community. I've actually enjoyed using Squarespace for four years now to build and host my online shop and website. So whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and visit squarespace.com slash happydartist for 10% off your first purchase. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.